This is a high torque mini electric DC geared motor. It's simply just another type of DC motor, only it has added torque. This added torque makes the force of its turning motion a little stronger than typical DC motors you'd find in RC cars. These motors are most likely found in electric toy trains. Generally explained, this motor contains the same components featured in a typical DC motor, only it has a gearbox assembly attached. The gearbox transfers the original shaft motion to small gears, which then passes motion onto larger gears, which slows down the shaft, ultimately generating a stronger turning force of the shaft. Think of it like a bodybuilder, a motor with super large muscles lacking the speed of a sprint runner. There are many different manufacturers of these motors, so I will have to generalize the technical specifications. These motors have lower rounds per minute, or RPMs, making it slower compared to regular DC motors. But in return, they're able to handle heavier loads or things of weight, making them a great application in towing or lifting projects. Just note, the motor's speed, or RPMs, vary based on the load that's attached to the shaft. These motors vary in their DC voltages, ranging anywhere from 3 to 12 volts or higher, depending on the manufacturer. You can apply different voltages and decide which is best for your project, as the motor's speed and amount of current drawn vary upon the load that's attached. The amperage or current can be anywhere from 170 milliamps to 900 milliamps or more, lower or higher depending on the load. This may all sound confusing, but essentially, the motors are all designed a little different with each manufacturer, having more or less tolerance of heat, current, voltage, load, moisture size, gear ratio, and the list goes on. To know the exact ranges and specs of your motor, you'll need to refer to its data sheet or the manufacturer's details about it. Here I'm using a higher 4 AA battery pack to power the motor, then I'm using a 2 AA battery pack to power the same motor. You can see the difference in the gears turning, the noise that it makes, and the torque, although I would stick to a lower voltage just to be on the safe side. This is another type of gear motor that I pulled out of an old radio I was taking apart. I'm pretty sure this motor was attached to the CD ejection functionality. In sum, the gear DC motors are almost identical to regular DC motors apart from their added gearbox assembly. Gear motors are beneficial for their enhanced strength or torque and make tasks like lifting, winding, or turning more reliable and efficient. How can this motor be connected to and controlled by a development board or microcontroller? Although you technically can connect the motor's leads directly to the microcontroller pins, it's not recommended to drive the motor directly from the board, as the motor can draw more current than the board can supply, potentially frying the board. You would need to add some current amplifying components, like a transistor or a separate motor driver module altogether, to connect any motor to a development board. One last bit. Once you have the current protection, the microcontroller can control the motor using the pulse width modulation pins to control its speed. Pulse width modulation, or PWM, is quite basically analog output. It's a digital manipulation of signals that imitate true analog signals to control mechanical devices. 